I really like the look of these new towers, so I think I'll keep them on the machine. No, I'm just kidding. So, like I said before, earlier, these are just the little legs that will support the machine when I tilt it on its side. Obviously, it'll be on this side. So you can see that they're all at the same level, flat. And so, lots of those over there are connected together because they weren't all that strong on their own. But these right here are pretty well strong just because they're all attached to the main tower. This side was obviously a little bit more challenging. Just because they're what it had the towers or the legs had to go all the way up to the middle. And they go all the way back to there. One thing I did forget to mention is I just started using this tool belt, which is just a standard tool belt that goes around my waist, and I like putting pieces in here. And I really should have been doing this the whole time I was building this machine, but I just kind of started doing it within the last week or so of building it. Before taking the ball machine apart, I just wanted to see how many pieces I have left and get it on video, because I remember getting a video of them before I built it. So now we can see just how much were used. So here's all the white connectors that are left. See, I don't know if I showed those, but yeah, so those are still pretty filled up. The main one to take note of are the blue connectors because there's hardly any in here. Green rods also hardly any. Look at the yellows. Yeah, it's pretty good. The main reason I'm getting this on video is so I can kind of tell how much pieces of ball machine like this uses. And I did use some of these, but I was able to not open that bag yet. That's how low that bag got. And let's see, that's just chain, so I don't really need to see that. And I don't want to open those, but that's how much is in there. So all in all, this ball machine pretty much used all the pieces that I had left, but it worked out just fine and used the most amount of pieces possible, at least with the green rods and blue connectors. got the platforms all built and like I said earlier one of the sections the shorter sections going on this one and the section with the inverted helix lift is going on this one and this is a full six feet from top to bottom The ball machine is split down the middle, as far as I can tell anyway. You can see that it goes all the way through, and I'll get down here. There's these tracks in the middle there, but those will come out. And there it is, down below, Let's see if I can get down here. See it all the way through. The tubing right now is a mess because I actually planned to split 
this track about right there so I put lots of the attachments over here but I'll just have to reattach that later on and I also had to disattach the tubing on this track on that side because I really didn't want to have to deal with taking the track out first but thankfully I didn't have to do anything to this vortex and so that's still all in one piece
This is a change in scenery. The ball machine is now finished and as you can see the sections of the depot are all here and also some boxes of pieces. That one right there is the main one with the miscellaneous parts. This one is a lot easier to transport because it didn't use up as much room. Just some closing comments to make before the end of the series. One of the things I'd like to mention is that the ball machine was made to be 4 feet in diameter and the space actually ended up being a little bit larger than that, probably 6 inches in diameter larger. And so um, the only thing that I would redo if I could is make the track part around the bottom a little bit bigger, even though that would have been harder to transport. So right now the ball machine is just in the center of the space with a little bit of area on the edges so you can see the border, even the part that's uncovered. I kind of wish I was able to continue the wall down there, but I didn't really have enough time to do that, so it's just kind of an open space made out of red rods. Another thing that I decided not to do was that light strip around the bottom, mainly because there was already a light in the museum near the top that changed color, and so I th thought it might be weird to have two of them that were slowly changing color at the same time. Also, since the bottom wasn't covered like I thought it would be, like I mentioned before, you would have actually seen the lights and, it, and I don't think that would have looked very good, so I just decided to leave that part out. Another thing I would have done differently is making the transport supports a little less flimsy. Even though they looked good when I built them, they were coming apart during transport just because the roads were bumpier than I expected. Making those supports being out of blue rods and yellow rods probably would have been better than just red rod towers because in the middle of the trip it had to kind of be redone but the ball machine made it there safely the actual tower structure was unaffected the ball machine that's at the museum right now by the way I still haven't come up with a name for it right now they're just calling it lobby ball machine since it's in the lobby of the museum I'm not really sure if I'll name it yet but I'll have to decide that when I come out with the official video which will be shortly after the this last video for this um, Let's Build series. Some of the goals I had for that ball machine that I can think of right now are I wanted to make it really simple and reliable and I think I did that pretty well because it worked really well in the museum and it was mainly, mainly made out of Citadel elements so I knew those would work well already since I already came up with those. I had to finish it in one month so one of the goals was to make it um, fast to build and I did that by making a sim more simple base rather than a full floor. And I also did that due to the pieces running out. But I did end up using about all the pieces that I had left with just a few left over. So I didn't use too many pieces or too little pieces. That was another goal that I had. Another one was to test out the new tower design. And I really liked the way that turned out. It especially helped during transport since the ball machine was split in two halves. Another thing that I really wanted to do with this machine was make it have a simple lift, just one lift going all the way up, rather than with the depot having what I think it has four lifts, maybe five lifts, I kind of forget. But I really like having just one lift to work on, which only took maybe five days or a week rather than months, which is usually how long I spend on building new lifts for Citadel, that's how it was anyway. I hope you all liked the series. This was, again, my first time doing something like this. Maybe in the future I'll do it again with a different machine or project of some sort. So stay tuned for the official video, and thanks for watching.